This block is going to be in the South Central of USA territory, a place of important battles to declare independence, rich in colonial heritage, the miles-long river walk lined with cafes and shops, and a tower to see spectacular views of one of the America's top travel destinations. Guys, welcome to San Antonio, Texas. Let me show you because I can, I can be very close to this, this uh, decoration or design. Look at the little tiles, all right? Just pay attention to the little tiles. Look, you see those little ones? This is the Carlos Merida, 1967. I think that's the one who created this. Lots of patients, all handmade, making this. This is very cool. I did not expect this. So first of all, this is a very interesting, uh, we'll say what, motor, design, sculpture. But what is more interesting is about this. Check this out. That thing, it is so tall and it is so big. And it has elevator, so I'm gonna try and see if I can get in all the way up. It's just crazy. Let's see if I can have a little bit of vertigo and hopefully it's open. Actually, there is a line and people are asking for tickets. So I'm gonna see how much it costs and hopefully I can get inside. I cannot wait. That thing is amazingly tall. <laughs> Look. All right, so I'm inside, so they have some uh, arcade games for kids. There's a 4D theater over there, which is, I'm gonna get there. So I'm trying to look for the elevator to go up. Hello, excuse me, for, this is the elevator to go up? Yes, it's gonna be right on that side, that's gonna be the entrance where, where the ropes are. This one here? Yes, sir. If you wanna take a picture, how much is the photograph? It's a book, and it's 23 $23. And then there's another one where it's a book, a little photo frame, um, Upload 35 for collage, $25 for the frame and for the book. For just the book, it's 23 Oh, $23 for the book. I cannot find anything better than this. This is very cool. I'm in the observatory now. Actually, I'm in the outside. And there's another level where I can walk around at outside of the building almost outside of the building but here I can see clearly the entire city of San Antonio amazing view just crazy and now I can see the sunset sunset is right there So who is or who was David Crockett? David Crockett was born on August 17, 1786, in the area of Eastern Tennessee. Crockett tried his hand at everything from farming to manufacturing wood barrels and gang powder, but he found his great success as a professional hunter. In 1826, Crockett was elected to the first of three non-consecutive terms in the U.S. House of Representatives. During his career in politics, he quickly gained fame. Later then, he was recognized as an American folk hero. All right, now this is the original structure. Back in those days, I would say the 1800s, you can see right here, uh, they keep it the same way, which is great to see this because this is all original. Nothing has changed since then. So, well, except for the lamps. But 
everything is still the same. This is part of the history. This is where all the troops used to stay and also try to protect the barriers of this uh, camp. It was pretty much a military camp. So you can see how those camps look like. All right, guys, to go back a few years in history, Mexico won his independence from Spain in a war that took 11 years. Then in 1821, Texas became part of Mexico. The Texas Revolution began in October 1835 after a decade of political and cultural clashes between the Mexican government and the increasingly large population of American settlers in Texas. David Crockett joined to the Texas Revolution and agreed to take up arms against Mexico at the Franciscan mission known as the Alamo. All right, now, of course, there are, uh, this is the gift shop at the Alamo, so you can get souvenirs, uh, t-shirts. They sell so many artifacts about the historical site. How do they used to write letters back in those days? No keyboards. <laughs> movies about this there's a movie actually about the Alamo these guys are heroes these are defenders they decided to defend the Alamo determined to avenge Mexico's honor the general Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana vowed to personally retake Texas the Alamo's 200 defenders commanded by James Bowie and William Travis and also the famed frontiersman David Crockett held out for 13 days before the Mexican forces close to 1,500 soldiers finally took over the Alamo. It's amazing to see so much history in one place. If you come to San Antonio, you cannot miss this. You have to. I think it's the first thing you need to see when you come over here. And actually, it is not far away. It is right here in downtown. Usually when you have to go through this type of uh, historical sites, you need to go to different places like far away from the city, but this is chasing right downtown. Okay, so this is a monument. Uh, it's impressive, it's very tall. This monument is outside of the Alamo. The Alamo is right there. This monument tells the whole story of 200 of Texans that went into battle for independence. But David Crockett may have been one of the last men standing at the Battle of the Alamo. At the present day, there is a debate if he was killed in action or not. From March to May 1836, Mexican forces once again occupied the Alamo. For the Texans, the Battle of the Alamo became a symbol of heroic resistance and rallying cry in their struggle for independence. On April 21st, 1836, Sam Houston and some 800 Texans defeated Santa Ana's Mexican force of 1,500 men at San Jacinto, near the site of present-day Houston, shouting, Remember the Alamo as they attack. The victory ensured the success of Texans' independence. Santa Ana, who had been taken prisoner, came to terms with Houston to end the war. In May, Mexican troops in San Antonio were ordered to withdraw and to demolish the Alamo's fortifications as they went. Across the street from the Alamo, you're gonna find also um, different entertainment places like uh, Guinness, the World Record Museums, which is over there. And we had the Ripley's Haunted Adventure. Also, there are some other shops, restaurants, uh, ice cream shop. By the way, ice cream it would be a, not a bad idea, especially because it's hot today, so. Bring you right back here. 25 minute ride. Mary Lou is a shy 
Fire Draft Horse. It's incredible to know how much I learned on my trips and I am so pumped to share this video with you. My journey in San Antonio is very close to the end so stay tuned for the last episode. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like down below, subscribe if you are not already and hit the notification bell to get notified when I post new videos. I see you guys in the next one.